Grand River Transit's Ion Light Rail currently has 19 stations from Conestoga Station in Waterloo to Fairway Station in Kitchener. Stage 2 will extend to downtown Cambridge with an additional 8 stations. Construction will not start until at least 2028. Out of the 19 current stations, 6 stations only serve in one direction. For northbound trains, we have Waterloo Public Square, Kitchener City Hall, and Frederick stations. On the southbound trains, we have Willis Way, Victoria Park, and Queen stations. This route includes sections where light rail vehicles travel in dedicated right-of-ways and on city streets. There are currently 14 Bombardier Flexity Freedom vehicles in the fleet. There is a cab on each end and doors on both sides. There is also public Wi-Fi available on board. The Flexity Outlook in Toronto only has one cab on one side and doors only on the right. The system includes signals that are only for light rail vehicles. A vertical line indicates proceed while horizontal indicates stop. The line begins to flash when it's about to change. A vertical green bar indicates proceed on the primary route, while a diagonal green bar indicates proceed on the secondary route. At track switches, a green aspect indicates the switch is aligned normal, while a yellow aspect the switch is aligned reverse. There are signs throughout the system marking LOS and ATP sections. LOS indicates the line of sight, while ATP indicates automatic train protection. ATP is currently still being tested and has not been enabled on vehicles. ATP allows the emergency brakes to be activated if the vehicle is traveling above the speed limit. The vehicles are limited to 50 km an hour without ATP. They'd be able to travel up to 70 km an hour with ATP enabled. The ION Control Center has about 15 employees who monitor the system in real time. The location of each vehicle and CCTV camera feeds of all stations are displayed on the screens. The Control Center is located in the Operations, Maintenance and Storage Facility, or OMSF for short. The OMSF is where the LRV vehicles are stored and maintained. The LRV operator can see schedule information and any messages from the control center on an in-cab display. The system uses proof of payment where fare inspectors check fares on board using a handheld device. Passengers may be fined up to $240 for not paying their fare. To pay your fare, tap your EasyGo card on the platform card reader. There are no readers on the vehicles, so make sure you tap on at the station. You can also purchase a ticket from the fare vending machine and then scan it to use. On the platform, the black sections on the yellow strip are where the doors will open. You can hear the next vehicles arriving by pressing on this button. A train to Conestoga Station departs in 6 minutes. There is a section of track on the Waterloo Spur that the LRT shares with freight trains at night. The track is owned by the region of Waterloo under an agreement with CN to allow freight movements. Although the region preferred for freight trains to only operate when the LRT was not, the chemical industries needed to be served and agreement was made to restrict freight service between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. four days a week. Between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m., only one northbound movement is permitted. Freight movement takes about 15 minutes. Once ATP is enabled, it will automatically prevent LRT vehicles from entering a section occupied by freight trains. At station platforms, gauntlet tracks are used. The track used by freight cars are one and a half feet further away from the platform compared to LRT vehicles. This agreement between Waterloo Region, CN, and the shipping companies of Rail Freight eliminated the need to build a separate track for the freight, which would have been more expensive.